is Armour Reforger coming in 2022? In this video, I'm going to give you the latest news on the Infusion Engine in 5 minutes, breaking down Dragon and giving you a quick up-to-date summary of the key information you need to know. Now, the information we're looking at today is an article with 80 Level, a website aimed at game devs interviewing Pavel Zafar, project lead for the Infusion Engine project. So at the beginning, we have a little bit of info about Infusion Engine's history and origins in the first few questions. Interestingly, in the early stages of development, they chose to port Armour 3's Tanoa into the Infusion Engine and run it on PS4. What's even more amazing is that you can actually play a demo of the Infusion Engine right now if you have a VR headset, which is a game called Project Lucy. Even though it's a VR game, it gives you a small flavour of the modern compatibility enabled by Infusion through VR devices as well as the improvements to the lighting engine as shown by the shadows here. Pavel says that they want to quote develop multiple game titles on top of Infusion close quote meaning that it's not just for armor games it's an investment for Bohemia's future too. Again there's more references to the focus on optimization for Infusion Engine even on mid-tier hardware no more melting NASA PCs for armor then. <laughs> And it's nice to see modding get some mention too, as this is really the backbone of armor games. On the subject of modding, Bohemia's motto for the new Infusion Workbench is, quote, no more text editors, everything must be possible in the workbench, close quote. And this is huge, as it will empower modders, and perhaps even make modding more accessible to those like me who see it as extremely daunting to learn. Pavel goes on to say that Infusion will allow for big and open worlds with simulation through day-night cycles and weather, but this isn't anything new. What got my attention is the bit about forests, which are very dense and maps can have about a million trees across them. To put this into perspective, Tanoa, which is perhaps the most tree-heavy map of any armor game, has over 500,000 trees, so for it to run well and have this many trees suggests that they've been able to achieve some real miracles with client-side performance. My GPU might just live to die another day. <laughs> There's also a bit about grass clutter and how they want to address the mid-range textures, nice. And perhaps most amazingly of all, wet textures when it's raining and different ones when objects are drying off, as well as reflections. I mean, aside from lighting, this is a huge overhaul from Armour 3 and even DayZ, which doesn't simulate reflections and wet textures. We can certainly already see it in action from these beautiful screenshots, and my god, does it look sexy. The team's ambition is also to allow for variable lighting indoors and outdoors, which I discussed more in depth in my previous Infusion Engine Reveal Analysis video, as well as adding lakes, rivers, yes, rivers, so potentially dynamically flowing water and other terrain features that we all know and love. Importantly, Pavel says, quote, many nice things are already possible, close quote, but there is still a backlog of features to add, meaning that there is, of course, more work to be done. More focus on the GPU end side of things has been confirmed by Pavel, which is really nice to see because, of course, one of the biggest complaints from armor players is how CPU heavy the game is. Unfortunately, Pavel did also say that there is still going to be a moderate level of CPU load due to the amount of simulations required from these types of games. In terms of the sky, Bohemia removed the cloud rendering technology used in DayZ and they rewrote it from the ground up on DirectX 12, meaning it's heavily optimized. And they also changed the lighting model to what's called PBR, physically based rendering, which in layman's terms means it closely mirrors the real world's lighting. In terms of weather, and if you're a mission editor, you're going to squeal with excitement over this like me. There are, quote, literally hundreds of sliders and curves, close quote, to modify weather in the editor, as well as the, quote, transition from one weather state to the next, close quote. I can already see this making for breathtaking and entirely unique missions in the editor. We can almost play God with the amount of customizability at our fingertips. And there's some further stuff about synchronizing the client side with the server, so there are no unfair disadvantages, such as things not rendering for certain players like shadows. This is great news, as it can actually be an issue at medium to longer ranges in Armour 3 in multiplayer. Finally, what you've probably came here for, what are Bohemia's next moves? 
Pavel reinforces the information we've already collated. Basically, Bohemia are indeed planning to, quote, release a game demo that will demonstrate the engine's capabilities, close quote. And they are hoping to use this to gain valuable feedback from the community, including, quote, issues, questions, and requests for new features, close quote. The final comment from Pavel threw me a little bit as I wasn't sure what he was referring to. He says, quote, I don't expect us to add something truly groundbreaking this year. If we do, we'll certainly let you know, close quote. I initially took this to mean that an Infusion Engine demo, i.e. Armour Reforger, won't be coming to us in 2022. But on closer inspection, when viewed in the context of the previous sentence and the paragraph as a whole about game development and adding further features, I think Pavel Pavel means that Bohemia do not intend to add any more big features to Infusion Engine itself this year. Therefore, we've heard it again from the horse's mouth. Bohemia are working on an Infusion Engine demo, and with the timing of the articles here and the reveal of the engine itself, I think there's a strong possibility that we will see Armoury Forger in 2022 at least. I seriously cannot wait, and as always, I'll keep you updated every step of the way on what is hopefully this journey towards a new armor title. Don't forget to subscribe to follow the updates as they develop. Best wishes guys and girls, Tommy out.